You received a frog. Finally, Holy oh my crap. god. And your bag is full. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen and Mal play Chula. Um, man, you guys don't know the hardships that we, or mostly Mal, uh, have been through. It has been absolutely bizarre. It has been rough. It has been really rough. And technically it's my episode to play, but Mao is, uh, Mao's the one who's playing at this point. She'll, she'll give me the controller soon. But you... Having one frog may not even be enough, though, right? Correct. I'm hoping I can get another one. You don't need the policeman's card? Nah. You're sure? I'm sure. Okay. You getting lots of sweet potatoes and stuff? Mal, th go through and throw some stuff away because- I have been, but I can sell these things for money. Oh. This one doesn't sell for much. We'll toss the umbrella. And the thing we can do is we can eat this. Oh, everything is illuminated. All right, please give me one more frog. The game That's all says, I want. no, you need big poop. Oh, thank God. All right, we have two. Let's go for broke. Oh wait, we have too much stuff. Um, throw away the wait, 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 wait. Isn't that the only one you have? The umbrella? Yeah. I'm good. They're, they don't sell for much. Or we can get it back. Oh, Remember can, when we toss can, stuff, it oh, goes to can, the police officer. Oh, okay. All right, I trust you. I just, I'm just making sure. You got another teapot. Um. <laughs> Throw away the hot sweet potato. It doesn't restore much, right? No. So One just... more frog. Come on. Going for broke. It's okay. empty. Okay, so now we have to check them, right? Correct. Dang. Guess is who checks them? Who checks the frogs? Yeah. Batanyan did the uh, cicadas. Um... I don't know. Who's the person we interact with a lot in this game? Dad? Which character besides Dad? Um... That's a resident. J uh, the guy that sells the train tickets? No. Leo. You know you can tell me, right? Leo. Leo. So we oh. need to go check with Leo. Okay. So let's go do that. Alright, here is Leo. So, hi there, Chu. Do you want some tea? No. No, I don't. I don't want tea. No. You want to show him frogs. You don't want it? Huh, really? So, he is going to identify these frogs. Yes. Which we only have two of. Oh, yes. God. You can eat them? Yes. Why? Just use them. <laughs> oh, a frog. The ones with blue dots are wake-up frog. Here, let me see. It has blue dots on the back. It's beautiful. You need a sleep frog. So show him the other. So use, do not eat. Oh, a frog. The ones with blue dots are wake up frog. Here, let me see. It has blue dots on the back. It's beautiful. So does that mean that the frogs we got are the wrong frogs? Correct. Well... That's unfortunate. I got another frog. See, Mal, I just had to hold the controller. Yeah, first try, you get a frog. And a broken umbrella. I mean, I, that, I don't care about that, but I'm going for frogs, baby. I came up with a solution here that should help us get through this. Um, my understanding is that the game loads the items uh, whenever you get to the map, and it probably... Um, also, whenever you get the item, decides whether that frog is going to be the one you need or the one you don't need. So, I went and slept and saved the game at the train station. And I'm hoping that, you know, if something doesn't go right and, and we don't get the right frogs, we can just reload until we get the right frogs. That's my thinking, and hopefully this will work. So, this is the wrong frog again. Yes. So, my thinking is that we will now reset the game, because I saved at Worldly Desire Temple. Go back into the trash. I'm- I am under the assumption that the trash will be different. 
Hopefully. Hopefully. And we'll get another chance to get a frog. This is bizarre. All right, here we go. Let's look inside. What are you? Not a frog. It's not a frog, which means I'm right. Which means that this, this is loading in either when you check the trash can or when you enter this map, so we can abuse this. I am not leaving until we get the doggone right frog. Last one. Please. This is, this is like the 25th frog. Please. Like tw there's been like 25 of them. Hi. Leo says, it is blue dots. My gosh. What is happening? Like, this is crazy. We're gonna- we're gonna have to move on. Yeah. We're gonna have to- Okay, folks, you know I said that we were gonna try and get those frogs? And I was like, don't worry. In the last clip, I was like, don't worry, we're gonna get those frogs. We have brought Leo 25 to 30 frogs at this point. Between the last clip and this clip, we have spent, I'm not even joking, two and a half hours getting frogs, bringing them back. Uh, we would always make sure that we had quite a bit before we brought them back. You can see we actually have seven in here. We have not found the right frog. And Mal, you said the first time you played this... It did not take me this long. I mean, you said you had, like, just a few, and it was like, oh, here it is. So, what is happening? I don't know. So this is very, very uh, upsetting and depressing. Uh, I'm not really sure at this point what to do, because we do have to have that frog to get the kiss for the Dr. Dandy. So, we will have to come back to this at some point, but th there's no use in continuing this. This is crazy. We've spent two and a half hours, and we haven't done anything. So, Mal, yeah. I ask you, yeah. what should we do next that is not that? We need to move on in the story. I cannot believe we just spent two and a half hours doing... That is... All right. So what's uh, what do I do? I'd go home and sleep. Okay. We haven't we haven't kissed anyone, so um, I'll do that, and then after that, what are we supposed to be doing? You're going to Funny Bone City. Funny Bone City. Let's uh, let's go ahead and warp to that. So we just arrived at Worldly Desire Temple. We need to come over to this thing and buy a 300 Z ticket to Funny Bone City. Correct? Yep. That's expensive. Yep. And now we just wait over here? Uh-huh. Show me your ticket. I got it. Show out. It's right... Uh, here. Yep. Boom. Funny Bone City checked. Alright. Get on and wait in the train. This is our first time being on this train and also going to Funny Bone City. So Funny Bone City is a fun place. Well, Everyone's fun really happy the, there. Fun's in the title. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Ki it's kind of in the title. Man, I'm... Yeah, I can't believe we spent two and a half hours trying to get frogs. And it like, ridiculous. it still didn't work. We took him almost 30 frogs. Uh-huh. That is bizarre. Alright. So now we're here. Okay, go up. Excuse me, bye. What's this say? Oh, it's just the times. Okay. And what am I... Oh, cutscene time. Good, more things that can come to life. Hey! Are you player? Chu? You did great coming this far. Good job. What? I'm Junichi Saito. I used to be a PE teacher. Good to meet you. You should work out while you're young. I know Kendo 3 Dan. And Judo 4 Dan. And Aikido 5 Dan. 
and Shoto 4Q and Gokushin Karate and I know Gracie Jiu Jitsu and Shaolin Kempo and Bayonet and Taiki oh lord Taiki Kuken and Hakyo Kuken and Daito Jiu Jitsu and Hana Yagiru Dance and Ego and Shogi and Mahjong I'm training every day. What? There's something more important? You want the love paper that Mr. Yamada gave me? Sure, okay, I'll give it to you. If you get promoted enough to surprise me. A man needs to succeed. Train your body and heart. If you can become a project manager, I'll give you the love paper as a reward. Young man, I'm looking forward to it. Alright, now really quickly, go in through those gates and go down, but sneak, 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 sneak. That is Ad Balloon. When she lands, kiss her. Or she's happy, you know. She's not happy. Okay. Bush. She opens the bathroom here. Oh, so that would be super helpful. Uh -huh. Is she gonna come back down? She might. You might just get one last shot. <laughs> oh, what the piss, game! <laughs> Screw off! I, she was totally... She wanted me. Very awkward. She flies away. Wait, did I have 60? Yeah. Did she do 25? She did do 25. Oh my god, she's coming back down. Oh, well screw you! <laughs> Doggone it! Alright, you need to go find the, um, factory chief. Okay, that means nothing to me because I've never been here before, Mal, so... Well, I guess we're going this way! <laughs> Wait. You can't go in. Oh god, oh! Oh! Eat something? Um, The mochi yeah. is... yeah, eat the mochi. Okay. You know, you- you can warn me before I- I didn't know I, that was gonna kill you. Before I nearly well, die. The factory chief shows up at 8 a.m. Like, I don't even know what that thing is. That's I just how you walk... get into the factory. My god. Uh, employees only. Everyone else will be removed. See? That's a useful sign. <laughs> that should be large and in English. Where do I go? Well, the factory chief... Is maybe they are through that- Do you see the person in the little thing there? Barely. This is an employee apartment. Don't come in. Please let me use it. Okay, maybe this one time. It's very dirty. I can't use it until someone cleans it. <gasps> What's the bathroom? Okay, well, it looks like you're gonna have to wait till um, 8 a.m. for the uh, factory chief to show up. What? So, like... The point of being here is you need to surprise, um, Saito. Well, that, was that the can's name? Yes. And, um, you need to be promoted to do so. What is this? Oh, it's a water fountain. Gonna heal your hearts. I didn't even know what it was. My yeah. hands are clean. Thank God, that was prim anyway, primary Anyway, they show concern. up at 8 to let all the workers in, so... Why do the workers and the security guards get paid the same? The security guards are so lazy sometimes. Give me a raise, employee A. So you need to wait till 8 a.m. You can go read your comic. Uh, yeah, that would that would kill a lot of time. Is there a bench? Yeah, it's near the train station. Okay. The comic is is really coming handy. Get out of my, get out of my way. All right. So we're gonna read this comic, which will skip 12 hours, which is really helpful. So it'll be almost 4 a.m. Uh, yeah. It'll be 4 something a.m. Okay, and now we just have to wait the rest of the time. Mm hmm Good morning, workers. This is Funny Bone Factory Morning Radio. Be friendly, be healthy, and be flexible. Let's work hard while keeping rules in mind. Funny Bone Factory is hiring a full-time worker. Seeking male over 30. Hours, 8 hours per day. Paid vacation over 30 days. Wage over 2 million Z? Is that what this is? 200,000? 200, 200,000. Experience A plus. 
Please read the advertisement for more details. This has been the Funny Bone Factory Morning Show. S okay. Funny Bone Factory is hiring a full-time <laughs> worker. Oh God, no, no. Would you like to hear it we again? We are not hiring new college graduates this year. This was the morning show of the Funny Bone Factory. Okay, so... All right. So, wait till 9.30 when Ad Balloon comes back and try and kiss her before you go home. Okay. What? What, what was that bullcrap? I have no idea. Like, I think I had that. So why did I not have that? I have no idea. See, that's what I, I, I think happened the first time, too. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try one more time, Here I she guess. Comes. You going underground? She's mad. No, she goes away at 130. You might have one more shot. But like I did it, dang it. I know you did it. Ah uh, This way. That was a bad move. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to preemptively kiss her. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna eat this so you don't kill me. You crazy She's person. She's 25 hearts. I know, I'm set. I got 26. She's gonna go away though, isn't she? Um, 130. So I could get one more. Even though more likely she'll probably come down and go straight in. Doggone it. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, screw you. I don't even want to kiss you. I'm going home. <laughs> hey, buddy. How's it going? This place feels so empty now that everyone is gone. But wouldn't it feel better if you, you had a job? You had a big poopy? Oh, big poopy? I can't make a living with that. I mean, it really depends <laughs> what exactly your job is. Classified ad use. Oh, that is a classified ad. I see. Work starts at 8.30 a.m. I have to start getting up early. I see. Work starts at 8.30 a.m. I have to start getting up early. Why did he say that twice? No idea. Now I can get a job. Haha. -ha. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, good for him. So what does that mean now? So because he get a job, he ha will be getting a job. Um, he's going to give you like a manager pass. It's going to come in the mail. So um, you need to sleep. And if it doesn't show up, then you sleep again. <laughs> come hell or high water, it will arrive in my mailbox, basically. Yes. Okay, well... Dad's going to be really disappointed again to know that I haven't kissed anyone. You almost kissed Ad Balloon. I I should have gotten that kiss, mm -hmm. to be honest. I should have. All right, let's uh let's go to sleep. Hey, son Chu, how are you doing? I want to read the paper. The third story. According to the paper, a resident of Funny Bone City, Boxman, is staying home all by himself. Go give him a kiss, Chu. Trouble, big trouble. <laughs> Bye, Dad. I love you, son. Do you think that he's reading the same paper? Maybe. I just never see him go get a new paper. Shabby mailbox. What we got, what we got, what we got? Nothing. Sleep again. This is the day that he's probably going to get his job, so you'll get it tomorrow. Uh, okay, sure. Because you gave it to him late at night. Okay, yeah, sure. That That makes sense. Today is the day in the mailbox for Chu, cause he wants a leather. There's a leather for you, and the leather it says it's a one-day manager pass. This is so great. I think I'll go sit on my. Well, thank you for referring, uh, Mr. Batignan to us to show you our appreciation. What is Chu doing? Celebrating. That's uh, how I celebrate. Yeah, I've seen you do that before. We invite you to tour our factory. Please bring the enclosed ticket. Funny Bone Factory HR. Well, that's 
Nifty. So now we'll just go to Funny Bone City and we can get in. Yes. Neat. That's actually going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, going to cut the episode just a, a little bit short. But you have to understand, this episode was over three hours of recording. That's amazing. And very sad that it took that long and we still did not get the frog. frog. I don't know when we're going to do it. We're going to 100% this game. So we're going to get those the right frog. We're going to keep checking whenever we go through World of Desire Temple. Yeah, we'll just keep... Keep checking to that. <laughs> uh, hi. How's it? How's it going? Uh, we'll see you guys next time for more Stephen Amal play Chulip. I'm employee number nine nine seven six. Oh, the manager of the day is Chu. You are good. I'm still a subordinate. Huh. To be honest, I don't like this work environment. Oh, too bad, buddy. I'm employee number nine oh three. When I drink funny cola, I can't help thinking about work. I wonder why. Either way, my goal is to get promoted, so I guess it's okay.